It's not funny anymore. Every day we get more and more indirect information about the release and events of the new episode of The Digital Circus. Hello everyone. Just in the previous video, we talked about the fact that the creators are intriguing us more and more every day with different spoilers of the new episode. I thought they would take a break, but the day after my video, there was a whole series of new leaks, which we will talk about today and also discuss the plot of the second episode based on all the data we have. First of all, the Glitch Twitter account had this weird leak related to Pomni. I think the most important thing about this situation is the caption of the post, which says that someone hurt our favorite fool. Now let's talk about the photo itself. Immediately noticeable is the Pomni pose, which was popular among the entire young population of the planet a few years ago. On the one hand, it may seem that in this pose Pomni is apologizing for something and apologizing to someone, but not that she is standing in fear. Most likely in one of the scenes we can see a fight between Pomni and someone else, and as a result, Kane can become on the defense of another character and very rude to Pomni, which in the end will only make things worse. In this leaked scene, we can see that Pomni's eyes are filled with sadness and despondency at having to do this, which means that this situation could be very unfair to Pomni. I think that this leaked scene will be one of the main scenes in the new episode, and it will show all the injustice and horror of the digital circus. And it is after this scene that our favorite Pomni will start to lose her mind. Let's start with the more interesting news. In the previous video, we talked about the release date of the new episode is very soon, and now there are a few more posts in favor of my speculation. In one of the posts, Gooseworks shows some territory and captioned it, It's so over. And right after that, she added to the post, I sometimes feel like my migraines are triggered by finally having free time to have fun with friends. In the first photo, we can see some territory and a very strange blur around the edges. I am 99% sure that the territory is a reference to the digital circus, namely his neighborhood. But this strange blurring around the edges is very similar to the borders of a virtual reality headset. And the caption about Gooseworks finally having more time says something too. I'm sure this is all related to the new episode of Digital Circus, and based on such indirect hints, we can say that Gooseworks has finished work on the second episode, which means that there are only minimal improvements left and we'll be able to enjoy the new episode very soon. I think it will be exactly the time I mentioned in the previous video, namely the end of February. Also very interesting is the post where Gooseworks showed a base for each of the characters and mentioned that this was done on purpose because our favorite inhabitants of the digital circus can change their clothes. First of all, I was surprised that Kinger has no arms or legs. And then there is the question of how he moves around the digital circus. Either he glides across the floor or he can climb low and fly. And where are his arms? Could they be anything like Zubel's? I'll be honest, I was sure that Jax was the tallest character in the digital circus, but after this leak it became clear that our chess piece is the tallest of all the characters. The Pomni hat was also mentioned, but I'm sure it's just a joke. But what is no joke at all is Gangle's face. We've talked many times about how Tragedy's mask is her face and not just a mask. And since this leak shows Gangle wearing it, we are right. But then how is her mood completely dependent on which mask she's wearing? And a little bit about Zubel. We knew that he was made up of different parts, and I was sure that Zubel's only permanent part was the head, but apparently I was wrong, and in addition to the head, her body is also a permanent element. And the arms, legs, wands, antennae, and all the rest are just decorative elements. And I agree that it would be very interesting to see the new image of Zubel in the new episode, and maybe this leak just refers us to the fact that in the new episode all characters, but apparently except Pomni because her image we have already been shown in the secret teaser, will have new costumes. Now I can say with more and more confidence that the new episode is really in the final stages of completion, and we just have to wait. And fortunately, we don't have to wait long. And now as I promised, it's time to talk about the events that might show us, or somehow reveal more details in the new episode. We already talked about this leak in one of the previous videos, but many people still think that it was just a joke from the creators. That means it's time to talk about new characters who, like Pomni, will enter the digital circus, or return from the horrible basement. In one of my videos, I suggested that a new character can appear only in case of abstraction of someone from the old ones. And it's also a long-known fact that every new episode will be dedicated to one of the existing characters. And something doesn't add up here, because the pilot episode was all about Pomni. And even if we count the pilot episode as the first episode, we still have seven episodes left. And besides Pomni, there are only five characters in the digital circus. And even if episode eight is the end of their journey, we still have at least one episode for a new character. Of course you might say, what about Kane? But I'm sure his personality will be revealed to us more and more with each new episode, so there won't be a separate episode dedicated to him. 
and there is a big possibility that in the next episode we will see a new character, and only after that we will be introduced to all the others, because only then we will be able to observe the big picture for everyone without interrupting it with the appearance of some new character. New Rooms This is a very interesting topic that I don't want to miss. We've already seen a lot of mysterious, obscure, and ordinary doors from new rooms that we haven't seen yet, and we need to find out some information about what happened to the inhabitants of these rooms, and Gooseworks himself has long said that we will eventually be able to look inside these rooms. It's still unclear if we'll only be able to see the rooms of those who are currently characters, or if we'll be able to see the rooms of all characters. I'm more certain that we'll be able to see absolutely every room, and that we'll be able to explore one of those rooms in the next episode. And according to the latest teaser, we will be able to see Pomni's room in the next episode. That's 100% information. But in addition to this room, we should be shown the room of one of the characters who turned into an abstracted monster, and now I will explain why. Maybe each of these rooms with a crossed-out character looks exactly like Kaufmo's room. You can see exit inscriptions on the walls, there will be clutter everywhere, some strange drawings, and no less strange, I would even say frightening pictures. Is it possible that the constant thought of the exit is the main reason for the abstraction? Or are there other factors that contribute to this uncanny process? We can only answer this question by exploring the spaces of other abstracted characters. More information about Kane. Kane is a very interesting character. Many people like him for his mysteriousness. And it seems to be obvious that Kane is the main villain in the digital circus because his strange behavior, which does not inspire any trust or rude treatment of some characters, including Kaufmo, who even drew a very scary picture on the wall of his room, fully confirms it. It seems that Kane just keeps the characters in the digital circus and has fun with them in any way he wants, but don't think that he's selective in his desires and preferences. We all know that Kane is an artificial intelligence and all his actions are pre-programmed. His main task is to entertain all the inhabitants of the digital circus and, if necessary, to eliminate various malfunctions within the system of the digital circus. We can even say that Kane is the amazing digital circus, and our heroes communicate with the digital circus through an intermediary like Kane. Kane is hardly a heartless being who only wants to harm all the other characters. He just doesn't understand the feelings of people who are in the digital world. After all, everything is logical and understandable to him, so everyone else should understand it too. Although sometimes Kane's behavior really makes us think that our toothy administrator really is a villain. After all, at first he says that the output is just a digital hallucination, but after a while, he says that it is one of his unfinished projects. I would be very interested to see how his personality is revealed to us in different situations in the future. After all, he positions himself as a good helper, but as soon as something unusual happens, he becomes very strange. And here I would like to return to the first point I made about the refusal of all the characters of the digital circus to take part in the new adventure. It would be very interesting to see his reaction. And there is also a theory that all the characters will realize what hell is going on within the walls of this digital space and gradually begin to expose everything that is going on around them, including Kane himself. And only then we will be able to find out the real Kane and if he really is a programmed artificial intelligence or if he is just pretending to be one to realize his evil ideas. And I also want to talk about the new locations in the next episode. We've already seen the design of the tent in several episodes, so we have a rough idea of what's inside. But besides the tent, we have an obscure lake with a beautiful yacht and an amusement park. And there is a possibility that the new episode or part of it will take place in one of these locations. To be honest, I would like to know more about the amusement park and see if Pomni's vestibular apparatus can withstand the stress that the digital circus will provide. I don't think so, and of course we need more information about the void and the basement, because we've only seen a little bit of it, but they've left a lot of secrets behind. And that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, I wish you success and good luck and say, see you in the new videos that will appear on the channel every two days.